Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter number 15. First Corinthians chapter number 15. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <coughs> and uh, as you open 15, uh, we read verse 58. Uh, glory to God. But as you get there, I'll just uh, remind us of what we've been talking about. Glory to God. Amen. What have been what have we been talking about? We've been talking about what? Discipleship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <coughs> we've been talking about discipleship. Glory to God. Uh, and we said that uh, well. A number, a number of things, but Jesus sent us to make disciples. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus sent us to do what? Yes. Jesus sent us to make disciples. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I remember we talked about the fact that a disciple yes. is different from a believer. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. It's one thing to be a, a believer <coughs> it's another to be a disciple hallelujah a disciple is one that gives themselves to the teaching of the person they are following hallelujah so it's one thing to be a believer and it's another to be a disciple glory to God hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to God. <coughs> yeah. And uh, we say that it's important that we are, first of all, you're first of all a disciple, and then it's you become a disciple. Glory to God. So that you have where you're drawing, and you are also giving. Glo hallelujah Amen. glory to God and I remember we talked about uh, the fact that uh, Paul told Timothy that the things that have, you've heard from me among many witnesses the same commit to faithful men <coughs> who will also teach others hallelujah and from that, we saw a four-generation chain of disciples. <coughs> Hallelujah. We saw a four-generation chain of what? Of disciples. Glory to God. And it's important that uh, we actually follow through. Glory to God. Yeah. Well, enough, enough of the recap. Well, let me just, let me just make this point also. That uh, yeah, many people when you talk about making disciples, their worry is what am I going to teach? Glory to God. What am I going to do? What? What am I going to teach? But the Bible says that you know the same things that you've heard from me, those are the ones that you commit to others so that they are also taught to other people. In other words, it is the same message of the same message that goes down the entire chain of discipleship. So as long as you are a disciple. You shouldn't worry about what to teach others. You simply, you teach what you've been taught. Hallelujah. You teach what you've been what? What you have been taught. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. So, uh, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. First Corinthians chapter number 15, verse number 58. The Bible says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. <coughs> Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Mm-hmm. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor in, in vain 
in the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you have another version? Give me the NLT and you see what it says. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong, immovable, always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there are some things that, that come off as as if they're obvious. Eh? As if they're obvious. But the Bible actually has to tell us and emphasize that, listen, there is nothing that you do for the Lord that is ever useless. Hallelujah. As in, there is nothing. Ladies, uh, let's listen. This is the word of God. I, I know it would make, it would, it would, it would come off as more powerful to some of us if God, if God appeared in your bedroom at night. Ah, wow, my son or my daughter, listen to me. Serve me enthusiastically. Because whatever you do, it will be beneficial and it will not be in vain. Hast thou had my servant? Now, if, if God came to you in the middle of the night and spoke to you like that, you would, you, you would wake up saying, being very happy and saying, the Lord spoke to me. And trust me, you would, you would serve the Lord enthusiastically. And you would, you would be very enthusiastic. But ladies and gentlemen, I have, come, I have come to learn that when you get the word of God from the scriptures and you understand it to be the word of God, it will actually, it, it, is, it, it comes off more powerfully than, than when an angel stands before you in the middle of the night. So what I want you to understand that this here is God speaking to you as an individual. And when you, when you learn to understand and, and, and relate to the scriptures like that, trust me, you're going to see many miracles happening in your life. Because the problem is we read the scriptures and it seems as though the scripture is... It's, well, it's a, it's a book written to many people and we never isolate ourselves to know that God is actually speaking to us. So right now, I'm telling you that God, I would have, I, I would have dramatized it and said that thus says the Lord, that says, that says, that says the Lord, that says the Spirit of the Lord. That says the Spirit of the Lord. <clears throat> so my dear brothers my dear children hallelujah be strong and immovable always enthusiastically working for me says the spirit of the lord says the spirit and you see there are some, there are some people who would have received it much better like that but when you just read as a scripture as a verse in the bible it's very easy to take it very lightly but ladies and gentlemen god is speaking to you 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 as an individual and he's telling you that there is nothing you do for me that goes to waste nothing hallelujah no now uh, uh, you see what, what i'm trying to do here is to revive is to revive the heart of service glory to god to, to revive the heart of service because there are people there are people here i know that god has told them and you know that god has called you to serve god has called you to do certain things god god has called you to great things and the, and the trouble is many times when god speaks to us he speaks and shows us very big things that were that are very easy to very easy to discard and say ah, that is not possible listen God wants to use you to do great things. You as an individual. You as an individual. God can change the world with you. You, you, you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, God can change the world using you as an individual. 
So do not discount yourself. Do not do not see yourself as a small as a small one one small unit among many. You see, the Bible is saying there is nothing that you do that goes to waste. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes I, I, I tell people, you know, so, sometimes people, they look at the pastors and they wonder what kind of life pastors lived. Someone told us, they even ask them, but, but when did God call, when did you know that God called you to be a pastor? And, and how did you start? You, you just called people that come and I preach to you, eh? As in what? How did, how did you, what were those transformational moments of your life? I'm telling you, one of the most transformational moments of my life was when I realized that when the scripture speaks like this, it is speaking to me directly. Hallelujah. That, those, I'm telling you. And I'm here to tell you that God is speaking to you right now. And he's telling you that, listen, there is nothing that you do for me that goes to waste. Now, that does not mean that everything you do for me will necessarily be interesting and, and that it will always be... You know, sometimes we think that it is going to be entertaining. Glory to God. That it's going to be entertaining. Listen, there are some things that God is going to expect you to do for, for him that are not entertaining. In fact, now you, if given a choice, you wouldn't do them. Hallelujah. I mean, we're talking about making disciples here. Let me, let, 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 let me help you, ladies and gentlemen, to understand. Eh? Making disciples is not very, is, it's, 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 not, it's not fun all the way. Because you're, when you're going to make disciples, you're getting people who are... Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. So making disciples, you're going to you're going to meet people and you're trying and, and you're going to think that you, you think you're helping this person by discipling them. And then they show you that you're interfering with their life. You're trying to help someone. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I know that I've I've been with people who need help. Who need help? And yet when you try to help them, they show you as in pastor, uh, pastor Zenyo, pastor, pastor, eh? Ozenyo Soko, Swasti, Vera, Vera, Keyo. And listen, and you're seeing someone go, heading for disaster, heading for head-on disaster, and they do not want to be helped. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Make, making disciples is going to call for sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Hallelujah. But it is a choice that you're going to have to make. Why? Because you know there is nothing that you do for God that goes to waste. It is not useless and your labor is not in vain. Ladies and gentlemen, that person that you want to walk with, that person that you want to walk with on this journey, they are going to annoy you. They are going to annoy you and you feel like you are not. Yeah, listen, you think Jesus was always happy with his disciples? Glory to God. No, let me tell you. Sometimes we have this rosy thing. We, 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 we get these, these Bible stories and we think that they just happened like when they were just walking. You, you, know, the story, you know the story of Jesus? Eh? As in he was always a calm guy. Quick guns and say, I take films in Najira Muruganda, praise the Lord. So cutting the Naranga Yusunga, you go Rugana, quick gamanga, quick gama then Navira, Unagama, and see. Um, see again, do cigar. As in cutting a video, quick gamanga, the way he's talking, Negonje, why? The twins of Kujira, Unagama, and see. Petero, Yokana, as in what? As in quick gamanga, it is just calm all through. But ladies and gentlemen, trust me, they had some times of real, of real talk where Jesus had to tell them, we don't do that. And ladies and gentlemen, discipleship is going to have some moments where you're going to put on a tough face and tell somebody no I don't do that yeah and let me tell you it's going to be hard 
listen, these guys, you, 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 you're imagining Jesus walking with his disciples as if it was always peaceful, as if they were I'm telling you, this guy, Jesus was dealing with the people who, were, who had to be, to, by the time they became the people we know now, eh? there was a lot of work that was done with them. A lot of work had to be done. No, no, you just imagine, you just imagine, guys, just, just imagine it. One of, one of the disciples is a fisherman, glory to God. Is a, is a what? A fisherman. Glory to God. The other, the other disciple is a tax collector. Glory to God. Right now, they are both disciples of Jesus. So, what, you, you really think these two just became buddies just because Jesus has, called, Jesus has called us now. Now we are best buddies. I've forgotten the money you stole from me. Jesus had to deal with why he got you. Matayo, okay, we did msoko mumuzi. Ne matayo zawa bakare zari nyingi na yeba no. As in, as Jesus had to deal with conflicts among the disciples. You're going to have disciples that are going to fight each other. Yes. Yeah, so we have people who are starting MCs. Let me tell you, the, the, start, and I encourage you to start MCs. Eh? But I don't want you to have the illusion that it is just, you're going to have start an MC, and then you invite people, and then Kwegamba. Remember, I'm, I'm going to be insisting that it grows. Eh? You know that you bring more people. You, you see, an MC should be growing. Everything that is alive should grow. Glory to God. Chino Kula, glory to God. So you're going to invite, say, invite people. I've seen people. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen. I, I even had no someone here. I saw them somewhere. They started and they invited. They called people and said, yeah, I'm starting a fellowship. Glory to God. I'm starting a what? I'm starting a fellowship. Then they called people and said, ah, we are coming. We are coming. Fellowship, eh? We are coming. So, Bambi, poor, poor person. Na kwata haka kukuke. Na haka sala. Na haka fumba mustiu. People are coming for what? Eh? People are coming for fellowship. And Coco Naji see Kanaji down the neighborhoods are church together, Master. Do you know fellowship or regular? Now see Ken Coca, hallelujah. Neka juice and now call a neka juice. Hallelujah. Yeah. San is where I come in a bit. Hallelujah. Not dusting in TV, what? At six, they're supposed to start. Kumina Birichitundu. I never know about it. At that, you, you, as, at that moment, you still be thinking they are late. Tingaba did it, hallelujah. Six, 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 forty five. Since Nene and Vian Fumbin and Abbey Jacuola. Seven. Ah, seven fifteen. Eh? The number you have called is not available. Hallelujah. <laughs> the number. Ah, no, The number you have called. Ah, and that is. B. 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 No one, no, no one, zero, no one. I, and I'm telling you a true story. True, true story. Namula ino mula banga ingira. Where is, where is Shari? What? Ya tudewa. Ya tudewa. Ye kwese. Ya, ya, atu alisa idi zeno. Kamuno nye. Namula bienga. Uli, 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 uli. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey. Yeah, true story. Enkoko, na nga fumbye, fumbye student. And, and they didn't show up. These people decide you're trying to disciple them, you're trying to help them. I called them, tell them they are not come. discipleship. Hallelujah. Yeah, so guys, I'm telling you the things when you're being called into the work of ministry, 
you you see and you come having all these illusions of how you you you, you how it's going to be as a, you 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 have you, you've projected a, a straight path hallelujah what it's not going to be like that it's not going to be like that but listen don't throw in the towel don't throw in the towel hallelujah yeah I was telling you, you will start an MC, you invite people, you invite, you invite people, <coughs> you've, you've cooked for them tea, or, or an Emmy guy, thing, or, or, and then they, they have come to your home, you are their disciple, and then they start saying, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What I was just what I was just saying, I was about Yeah, but you see, those are the people that you have been called to do what? To disciple over Jim, over Jim, And listen, listen, those are things that you don't have to put up. The journey, it, it may start slowly, but the, the journey of discipleship is to actually correct all those things so that, so that someone turns out to be a proper person. Listen, discipleship is not just talking about the Greek and the Hebrew. The Bible says, and the, but you see the Greek interpretation says that, uh, same and, and what, what, what. Listen, it is about talking about the real life, normal life thing. Such that somebody, Omuntu Janga Tasima, I again to why you over Quadum Gatsigua Yaguza Gusime. Hallelujah! Yeah, praise the Lord. So, disciple, many some, sometimes we get this idea because the discipleship, you know, we are, we, are, we are spiritual people and we are talking about spiritual things. So, when you're talking about discipleship, the only thing you're thinking about is you see, John chapter number three, is, uh, it was written by the scribes of what? But when they translated from the Latin Vulgate, translates it like this. However, the Dead Sea Scrolls have an hair, Simania, the Septuagint, but the Septuagint does it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they say, they say, keep quiet. And the Luganda version. Listen, when you are Septuagint in the Vulgate Navichi, the first lesson is thank you is important. Guys, let me tell you. Do you know, when Jesus was teaching his disciples, eh, I'm telling you, you can read what Jesus taught. You would think Jesus was teaching them the normal, simple, day-to-day -day things. In fact, in fact, if you listen to some of the preachers today, and you compared with what Jesus was preaching, you would, you, you would, you would be tempted to think Jesus was not deep at all. I'm telling you, Je Jesus was si simple things. Yeah, when someone, if someone takes your court, you do, 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 don't fight. Cause if if I'm born by or when I'm born, you could be your praise Lord. Would you come and ne 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 start your jimu? Hallelujah. Yeah, simple. Hallelujah. You do walk 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 side is there no? We we to know the now with that. We are going to be here. Chusa, chusa. We are not ambulant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As in simple things like that. When you go to a party, when you go to a party, to it while a masu. Hallelujah. Don't don't see don't do. Kuwanga ba jaku goba yoswari. Hallelujah. So to the mabega, boy ba la bantu osano kuwa masu. Ba jaku ita. Ba kutwa the masu. Hallelujah. How simple is that, ladies and gentlemen? How simple is that? Now, if you ever get a disciple, na swala na gena mupate na tula na yetuza maso alieri, neva mukoba yo, you have failed, you have failed. That is a, a, a discipleship lesson is you know what? Be humble. When you go to a place, do, to, to don't show everyone that I've arrived. Hallelujah. Yo, I know kakondo kajira. Kakondo kajira. 
Akangete kavu galeluya Noja laka kono kakaka paka 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 Nojo kwa hita muku veri Notu ula masu Chokente mejo tudemu Ya guest of honor Laba weba kusitula Laba uoswala Woda yuna kakando haka kono nga kavu ga Eh O, o, maso kutambula kakona O wakusu chilo kajamu no dayo mpola No dayo mpola mpola Aleluya <laughs> And listen That is what Jesus was teaching his disciples That is what Jesus was teaching his disciples Yeah So get your disciples And teach them some daily life lessons Some proper life lessons Glory to God. Yeah. yeah, so in other words, a discipleship is not, it's not limited to, 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 to Simanya the. Mm, <coughs> you see the abomination of desolation and Simanya. <laughs> Glory to God. And the broomstick of Jehu. <laughs> the broomstick of Jehu. And the, uh, the abomination of desolation and Simanya what? Glory to God. Yeah. How many of you cannot tell? Who cannot tell somebody that? Wait a minute! It is. Thank you so much. For, thank you so much for coming for, for fellowship. Glory to God. Na yenviri ngasinsa nidiri. Hallelujah. Yenviri sichi. Yenviri sins ngasinsa nidiri. Now let me tell you. If 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 you can't if you can't teach that to somebody, then they are not your disciples. If you can't tell somebody that it's, it's important to comb your hair. Hey, nature, hey, nature, hey. Glory to God. Because listen, at the end of the day, your disciple is supposed to end up being a, a reflection of who you are. So you have to teach them everything. Someone say, listen, someone say everything. You teach everything. From it is important to comb your hair. It is important to brush your teeth. Hallelujah. And you, yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Now, now, yeah, I know yeah, some people are laughing, but it is, it's important. It's important. You're going to get disciples and you will get them when, the, when bathing is not a priority. Hallelujah. It's not a priority. It is important that you tell the brother that, wait a minute, it's important to do what? To bathe H2O. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's important. Glory to God. Deodorant. Antiperspirant. Correct. Correct. As in, like, 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 it is important to use a what? It causes a deodorant. Tekata. Tekata. And, and, and I know some, some, someone could have told him, but those deodorants in no here. Babu Korea underwater. No, Simaya. And the things I'm telling you, I've heard, praise the Lord. I've heard some brothers saying, because they are so spiritual, and say, those, those deodorants, those perfumes, they are made from underground. They are made from underground. Because deodorant. Go get a deodorant and put it on. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the thing with the thing with the deodorant, there, there are some people who think that, but pastor, me I bathe. Me, me I bathe. I don't need it. Why I bathe three times? Yeah. And it's okay. It's, it's good. Praise the Lord. Now yeah, this this body, this bodies these bodies of ours. Eh? I don't know even if even before the fall it was like that. But there is a way they react with sweat. And we have different levels. There are some people that your body, the, the body gives off a stronger odor than others. And it's not, it's not a sickness. It is no more. It is no more. But the way to mitigate that is using a what? An antiperspirant deodorant. And in fact, 
please important you antiperspirant don't when you're going to buy a deodorant make sure you look for the you look for the word antiperspirant hallelujah don't, don't just get because it has make sure it is an antiperspirant Hallelujah. Shababa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah, but it's important. But but you see, the, the, the thing is, uh, and the, 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 the truth of the matter is, uh, many times the people who, who give off the order, they don't smell it because they are used to it. So they don't smell it. And it ends up that it's other people. Now, if you're the disciple and you can't help your disciple with that, eh, then you're not helping them. You're not helping them. Hallelujah. So, the self thing to do is just make sure you always wear it. You, you put on a deodorant. Don't for assemble it. No. 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 Use a deodorant every day. Every day. That is discipleship. Hallelujah. That is what? It's discipleship. Now, 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 you have very important calls. What, what? You take him silent. Go to say, go to say it. Or to say it, the only free spot is those ends in the corner. No, you call it out. Quite a quite excuse me. Quite a patch. Excuse me. Take a tree. No, 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 Naka Jonga to Netuja and the Kavne is no Neja, Karantan, Netruzo Genda G to go ready at Tawan Yatu Gizeda. Karantan, Karantan, excuse me, no, no, Situka, no, 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 yeah, Paul told Timothy, Timothy or Titus, to teach people how they should behave in the house of God. In other words, there is a way to behave in the house of God. There are things you do in the house of God and things you don't do. Hallelujah. <laughs> At least to my I'm in church. I'll call later. No, just because you put your head down, you, you think we are not hearing what you're saying. Kakatim, Nida, Navagambi, Navadi Navagambi, but just Zileta. We are in church. Hey, my brother, sister. Hey, my brother, sister. Hey, my brother, Godly reverence. Hallelujah. Godly what? Reverence. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So, di discipleship we teach every. It's not going to be easy. There are people you're going to tell, Bakugam, and, and some, for, so, some people, if you tell them the, the, the discipleship relationship may end like that. Because of Mugambi Kotokatin, you talk about the same church. What do you mean? Why are you refusing me to take my phone calls? No, it didn't work like that. It didn't work like that. Praise the Lord. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you, whatever you go through, yeah, just know God is saying it is not in what? 
there are people that you're going to tell, they may even refuse your advice, they may even cut off the relationship, but at least you've done your part. At least you've done what? You've done your part. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get off because you see when you're being sent, eh? I, I, and I'm telling guys, let me tell you, it is no more. It is no more. When you're going out, starting out in ministry, you have so many you have so many pictures. Me, I've told I've told you of the pictures I had when I was starting ministry. Ah, I told you. You have this thing that I'm going to start. I, I'm, I'm I'm going to start, and people are going to come. The entire neighborhood is going to hear that. Eh, there's a good fellowship there. Then they will all come. Before you know it, we shall be 30. Then what? And before you realize it, no one is coming. And, and you, you, start, you start saying, but God, did you really call me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. That is, that, 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 that is one point aside. Glory to God. Take me back to, take, take me back to uh, 1 Corinthians. Glory to God. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. Hallelujah. Always what? Abounding. Always abounding means that, okay, give me, give me NLT. As in enthusiastically. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Hallelujah. Always work enthusiastically for what? The for the Lord. There's a message, there's a message that I preached some years back. There's a message that I preached some years back. I've, let me try to remember the title. And uh, uh, I don't remember the title. But I related, I related with uh, the story of Mary. <coughs> Mary, remember how Mary, uh, Angel Gab Ga Gabriel, Angel Gabriel, Angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and then Angel Gabriel told Mary all these big things. You're going to what? You're going to bear a child. This child will save the world from their sins. What? Uh, big stuff. Big good stuff. But, but Mary had a question. And she, she, asked, she asked the angel that how shall these things be Seeing I do what? I know not a man. So, and uh, it was a good story, good line up, as in God is going to do great things. But even as they are telling you all those things, eh, at the back of your mind, you're like, how shall it be? And yet I do not. I do not. Eh, yeah. I know not a man. Simani Mosadja. And I remember I asked people, I told people that, you know, there, there are things that God is going to tell you to do for him. And, and he will give you a very big picture. And, at the, and yet at the, at the back of your mind, even as God is telling you, and, and probably God may, not, God may not come walking on two, two legs to tell you that what. And probably God is telling you through me, praise the Lord, eh, that you know what, you know you need to serve the Lord because he has a great destiny for you. How many of you know God has a great destiny for you? Yeah, how many of you know that God has called you to the nations? Glory to God. God has called you for the nations. Glory to God. How many of you know that your sphere of influence is going to go beyond the boundaries of Uganda? Yeah, glory to God. How many of you know that you're going to have phone numbers that are not plus 256? Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you know you anticipate having a phone number and it is plus one? Hallelujah. Plus one, Mujimani. Hey, plus 44. Hallelujah. Hey, plus what? Yeah, plus what? Plus 974. Hallelujah. Yeah, plus two. Plus two. I want to to five. What? Plus two five six. Nga wo mo genze ko wa dosara ko bili ne fuka tu plus two five four. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So all those things, and I'm telling you, all those things that you that you imagine in your mind, God can do them. God is going to take you global. God is going to give you businesses that are global. God is going to give you mean. Listen, listen. I am not. I I, I am not. Uh, I am not a local person. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I am not a what? 
I am not a local person. So the ministry that I have is not a local one. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And ladies and gentlemen, even the children that I birth are not local. Glory to God. They are not local. Glory to God. So we are talking about big things, big things, big things. Whatever God is going to start doing in you is going to go global. It's going to go global. So even as we are trying to tell you here that, you know, start, start an MC. Disciple some people. Disciple one. It may seem as if it's like a small thing. That is what is going to sprout into something very big and global. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That is what is going to become big and global. Hallelujah. Yeah. But when I'm still telling you those global things, someone is seated there quietly saying, but pastor, how shall it be? Seeing. Seeing. Glory to God. You have your reason. What is your reason for doubting those global things? What is it? Don't, don't put up your hand. Just hallelujah. Yeah, but you have you have that reason. Seeing, seeing this, see. For Mary, for Mary, it was how shall it be? Seeing, I know not a what? <coughs> no, not a man. The same message, the same exact message was told to the mother of John the Baptist. What was her name? Elizabeth. Her, her, her problem was not knowing a man was not not knowing a man because she had a man her problem was i am old glory to god so the problem was for the problem for zechariah was i am old i am old and that earned him muteness and what because he thought he was too old for what the angel was going to say same message this one said i am i am i am old the other one said i i don't have a one so even when god is coming to us with messages of greatness god is going to take you to the nations god is going to make you a global champion and all of you have different reasons for doubting that glory to god hallelujah but guess what you are not the first you're not the first. Because I was, I was telling people that you know what? You know, God can tell you something and you give your reason. And many times your reason looks and sounds very justifiable. Yeah, he's called he's called Uncle Bob. Hallelujah. He's called Uncle Bob. Glory to God. Yeah. So I remember that time I was preaching and I told people that, you know, some of the common reasons that people give, uh, they, they may not phrase it like, they may not phrase it like, uh, they may not phrase it like Mary, but they say, how shall it be? This time, this time the, 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 the angel is not there, but they're speaking to themselves and they're saying, how shall it be? Seeing I have tried and failed before. How many of you have tried something for God and you failed miserably? Emba embarrassingly. Yeah, as in you, you, you tried, and you were, you were out for good. Indeed, your heart was out for good, and you failed flat. And then you said, "But God, how could you let me fail like this?" And you even start, you even start imagining those things that God was actually there watching. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. And I'm here to tell somebody that wait a minute. Eh? I know you tried, you tried once and things didn't work. You tried once and you even got embarrassed. Eh? But ladies and gentlemen, eh? do not give up on serving God. Do not give up on serving God. Like listen, listen. A story, a story, a story, a story is told about Moses. A story. Let me show you. Let me show you a scripture. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now that is not that you know, child, you will praise the Lord. Child, let me show you a scripture here. Uh huh. Ah, Exodus. Give me Exodus chapter number. You see, the story is this. <coughs> The, 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 the story was, was like this. Moses meets God. 
Moses, Moses, Moses meets God and God tells him, I'm going, to, I'm going to deliver my children. You go to Pharaoh. And you know, you know how Moses, Moses is meeting with God, how it was dramatic. Eh? So God tells him that I'm going to send you to Pharaoh. And then Moses says that, what? You know what? Hey, I cannot speak. Ah, God tells him, throw your stick down. As in God sampled him on a miracle. Throw your stick down. Then he turned to a snake. Eh? Have you, you, have you watched that, that movie, The Ten Commandments? Eh? Throw your stick down, it turns to a snake. Okay, that part wasn't there in that movie. Eh? Or when God told him to throw it down. But then the Bible says, God told Moses, what do you have in your hand? Then Moses said, a staff, a stick. Then God told him, throw it down. And then he threw it down, and it turned to a snake. The Bible says, and Moses fled from it. Because it turned into a... By the time Moses flees from his own stick, eh, you know that that wasn't just a magic trick. It was a real snake. Glory. And then God tells him, hold it. Even God was wise. He told him, hold it by the tail. Glory to God. Yeah, so even... So Moses held it by the tail, and it became a, a stick again. Now, by then, if God shows you something like that, eh, how many of you... Can you imagine? Eh, God is telling you to go and speak to... Who, who do you fear a lot? Let's say your boss, hallelujah. You say, come on, Lord God, my boss wants to fire me. Well, and then God tells you, go, go and speak to him boldly. And you say, ah, God, I fear him. Then God tells you, what do you have in your hand? And you say, a pen. And then God says, put it on the table. Then you put it on the table. And then your pen turns into a, what? A mosquito, eh? No, Pastor Jeho. Pastor Jeho. Okay, let's say, let's go with Pastor Jeho's imagination. It turns into a mosquito and then it flies away. Then God tells you, Kati Jigo, what you quat? No, you go, no, you go, no, you go, ah, no, you quat, and it becomes a pain again. And then he says, You see, I'm with you. Now go and tell your boss, yeah, you, you have to attend prayer service. Uh, you have to, uh, what? Now, if God has performed a miracle like that, eh, it somehow gives you confidence that God is with me on this journey. Hallelujah. God is with me on this what? On this journey. So that's how Moses left the presence of God with confidence. And then he, in power, yes. And then he went down to meet the children. This is what happened when he, reached, when he went there. When he went there, he told Pharaoh. He threw his stick down. You know you come with confidence. Ferras, chino tabachira wanga kaleluya shababa. Oju ba oju ba unana glory to God. Hallelujah. Ngoni zena mu. Let my people go. Abacha gamba. Which people? You throw the stick down. Glory, and it turns into a what? It turns into a snake. Now the other guys also bring their whatever. They also bring their sticks. They threw them down. Wow, they also turned into snakes. I don't know. Hallelujah. They start fighting. They start fighting. Ah, then your, your snake swallows the first one. Ah, hey, swallows the second one. No damu amanya waga. Kamira koksa tu. Ah, no kamira koksa tu. Like before, by the tail, no guku atana wete guku mira. Glory to God. Ah, he turns to a snake. And there you, you, and then you imagine that Pharaoh is going to be shaken and say, "Please go to your God." Do you know? Do you know what happened? Instead, Pharaoh said, these guys, you want to go and worship your God? He said, these guys are idol. These guys are what? These guys are idol. You want to go, you want to go in the wilderness? To... And then the Bible says that Pharaoh passed... It. Let, let me show you. Exodus. Uh, chapter number four. No, 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 no. Uh... Okay, Pharaoh, 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 Pharaoh gave, gave a decree and, and he said that these guys eh, do not give them straw because they were making bricks. But they were being given straw to make bricks. 
Pharaoh, when Moses went with his stick and all the what, because God appeared to him, what? And sent him. Pharaoh just said that these guys are idle. Don't give them straw anymore. But the number of bricks they make should not reduce. Give me verse 22 of Exodus chapter number 5. And listen. So the situation of the people that Moses went to rescue became, became worse. We are together. Now, now listen, to, listen to Moses. Listen to Moses. Listen to Moses. And Moses returned to the Lord. Uh, okay, K KJV is complicated. Give, give us NLT. <clears throat> and Moses went back to the Lord and protested. Someone said protested. Amen. How many of you have protested before God before? Oh the, Moses, the Bible says, Moses, not day work at Praise the Lord. Protesting. And he said, Why have you brought all this trouble on your own people? Why, why did you even send me? Why did you send me? Verse 23. <clears throat> Verse 23. Ever since I came to Pharaoh as your spokesman, he has been even more brutal to your people. And you have done nothing to rescue them. You see that? Now let me ask you. Had Moses done anything that God didn't tell him to do? Mo Mo Moses was doing everything by the script. It is God who told him, go to Pharaoh. It is God who told him that you shall throw your sick. In fact, he told him you, Aaron, you will give your Aaron, Aaron's staff. In fact, he will throw his stick down. Which he, what? he was doing everything by the script. But even when everything was being done by the script, the situation became tough for the, became worse for the Israelites. And then Moses went back to God and protested, protested. And he said that ever since I started acting, ever since I started speaking as your spokesman, he has been even more brutal to your people. And listen to the last part. That, and you have done nothing to rescue them. How many of you have felt like that before? So, as in, I need some truthful people. Some, at least some, some truthful people. As in, you felt you've done, as in you've gone out on behalf of God. And then the things, in, instead of things becoming better, they become worse. And it just feels as if God is just there looking at you. Like the, way, the way Moses spoke here, and you've done nothing. As in God, you, as in you're just there. If you're to put it in, in proper current language, you will not praise the Lord. Madeng. Tochogera, tochogera. Tochogera. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, so you could be there and you're, you're wondering, I'm talking about great things God wants to send you. You know, you, you, you resigned and you just said, now I will, I, will, I will be a good person in church. I will be a good person where? I will be a good person in church. But I'm going to start out, getting into ministry, serving the Lord, start an MC. Then I've tried that before. Now, I know, I know, God, in fact, you, 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 the, you, the word is, God embarrassed me. What, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here, to, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, do, do not give up on serving God. Do not give up on serving God. Do not give up on serving God. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is your concern, I will tell you the same thing that, the, the, that Angel Gabriel told Mary. Because she was saying, how shall all these things be, seeing I know not a man? And then the angel told her that the Spirit of God will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will will overshadow you. The power of the
the Most High will overshadow you. Ladies and gentlemen, even as you plan to go out to serve the Lord, I know you have failed before, but I'm here to announce that the Spirit of God will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. You will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Go and start that mission or community. The power of the Most High will be with you. Come on, help that person. Start serving the Lord in whichever capacity. Don't be, don't start. There are many things. Don't start saying, how, how shall it be? How can I do it? How the, but I've tried before. And, uh, Hallelujah. Glory to God. And pr probably it's not, it's, not, it's not saying that Navigezako. Probably you just probably you just think you have a lot of time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Guess what? Guess what? That is what Jeremiah was telling God. And God told him that do not say I am a child. Do not say I am a child. Don't, say, don't let that come out of your mouth. Don't say I am a child. Glory to God. Wait, because there is work to do and it is you. You have been chosen to do it. The earlier you start, the better. Don't say I am a child. Those are God's words. Give it to me in Jeremiah chapter 1. God told him, do not say I am a child. You know, Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. But I am young. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child. Glory to God. Give me the NLT. For thou shalt say all things that I say unto you. The Lord replied, don't say I'm too young. You see that? Th 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 those are very God's very own. He said, don't say I'm too young. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, don't say I'm too young. Don't, don't, don't say I'm too young. Because you are not. Now you are going don't say I'm too young. Hallelujah. You are, not, you are not too young to serve the Lord. You, you are not too young to serve the Lord. Don't say I am too young. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then there was another scenario. There, there was another scenario of another, of another man of God who, who, who was in a situation. Someone say a situation. He, he was in a situation and the Bible says that he was called Gideon. And the Bible says that he was threshing his flour. And, and the Bible says that he was in hiding. Glory to God. You see, there were, it was a time when they were, when they were under the, 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 the hand of the Midianites. The Midianites were loading it over them. And, and, and it was so tight that if they, if they had found him without food, they could have easily killed him just to get the food. So he was actually threshing the flour while he is hiding. Now, in hiding, that is where the angel of the Lord meets him and tells him that, you know what, eh? the Lord is with you, mighty man of what? Eh? Mighty man of valor. And then Gideon says, mighty what? Eh? Mighty che? My, mighty, an, an, who, who? Mighty wine of what? Glory to God. And then the angel tells him all these wonderful things. The Lord is going to rescue Israel. What? He told him, with you as one man, with you as one man, the Lord will rescue the house of Israel. What, what, what? And do you know what Gideon said? He said, but you know what? Eh? To be very serious, you want praise the Lord. To be very, to be very serious. My, how, my family is, is the least among the families of our clan. In fact, my clan is the least. Eh? My clan is the what? Is the least. And my family is the least in the clan. And in the family, I tell you, I am the least. Kati, you've, oh, you've skipped all those ones. Oze wange. Oyagalo I am hiding. You want me to come out and they take my little food. How many of you have felt that you don't qualify for God to use you for certain things? 
As in God talks about great things. And you're like, yeah, see me, um, a great revival is coming in the end times. And I'm going to use, make my spiritual giants. Uh, and when they're talking about spiritual giants, in your mind you're saying, Pastor Jeho, Pastor Maxi, Uncle Bobu. You're just seeing them over the giants. You, know, you sing other giants. And yet God is saying, you are the one. You are the one that I want to make a spiritual giant. You are the one that I want to make a financial giant of your time you are the one and you're there saying but pastor <laughs> and you're there saying I think nothing we are going to be giants. And God will give you more. God will as no, these are these, these, don't, don't look at me as if what these are thoughts that go on in your mind. When Pastor is saying hey, the building project is an opportunity, and then I'm aware you have Pastor go opportunity because it's because it's opportunity. Glory to God. That was Gideon. That was Gideon. The angel was saying him great things. What? What? And Gideon was just saying. Then Gideon told the angel that so first keep quiet. First keep quiet. If God is truly with us, where are all the miracles? Because you see, they used to hear of the miracles that when God was getting you out of the, when getting getting the Israelites out of Egypt, He split the Red Sea. There was He fed them with manna. There was a cloud of fire and a cloud of what, what, what. Gideon told the angel. Wait a minute. If God be with us, where are all those miracles that he did? He performed mighty miracles, getting them from Egypt. Katifatiru and the Midianites, but Barikumpitulia. Where, where are the miracles? Where are the miracles? Where is that God you're telling me? Aliwa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the angel went through an, an entire process of co convincing Gideon. Gideon, you know, you know the story of the fleece. I tell you what, if, if it is true, then let me leave a fleece outside. You, you know, Gideon really tried to go. God was quite patient with Gideon, by the way. God was quite patient because some of those things, eh? Gideon told God that, okay, I'm going to get a fleece. A, a fleece is like kawangaka cotton, cotton. Gideon told God that if it is true what you're telling me, I'm going to put this fleece outside. It is a bit rainy. Everywhere is wet. Aongamanya, you're talking to me. Eh, kolecho, kare, eh, kolecho, kolecho. Angabi ya mtero gamba, if what pastor is saying is true, let God do the ABC. How many of you have given God conditions? If you are, if you are the one, okay. Let, eh, eh, let this happen. Let, eh, let, uh, okay, pastor, if you want me to serve you, njaga, njaga la pastor, jenga ya yamba de sute, ya buruweri, Nothing in Paria Yambari de Keria Green. Eh, on Jacuma and Yagaran Coeres. Catuca Catundo Yagaran, Yagaran Marequan Balavizino, your Coeres Catonda. 
Glory to God. And guess what happened? By morning, it happened as Gideon had requested. Everywhere else was wet, apart from the kaflis. And then Gideon, Gideon, you know, in Empaka. Nagamanti, ah, Navy, Navy, too. Kavanji, Lord. I've changed, I've changed. Tomorrow, I want to find that it is the cotton that is wet when everywhere is dry. That Gideon changed his mind and he told God that. And guess what happened? The next day, the cotton was wet and everywhere was dry. And Gideon said, in Katrin, Where do you want me to go? Or, where, where, where do you want me to go now? Glory to God. But guess what? Guess what? God, God could put up with that with Gideon in the Old Testament. But we are spiritual beings. We, we are spiritual beings. God speaks to us with our spirits. Eh? We are not going to start setting fleeces for God. That if you want me to start an MC, let me find Inga. Let me go back home and find red boiled chicken in the what? In the saucepan. Aonga manya what? Toja jisanga yo. And yet God still wants you to start the MC. Glory to God. Well, if you want, if you truly called me, let me just put up chairs and somehow they invite themselves. No, you're going to have to invite them. You may even invite them and they don't come, but still God wants you to start the MC. God, you're not going to go by fleeces. Don't start setting conditions for God. If you're the one telling me to start an MC, let me find when what. Go, 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 keep quiet, go home and start an MC. Are you still there? Yes, Glory to God. Yes, Guys, this thing of serving God, eh, you just decide because the instruction is there, you simply obey and decide that I am going to serve God and you start serving God. There, there will be reasons for you not to serve God. There will be reasons that you will give reasons such that I am young. You will give reasons such that I've tried before and it didn't work out. You, some of you are even scared on behalf of your friends. It is not you who tried. You say, ah, pasaje hoya, chigeza kwa, ah, pasaje hoya. You see, pasaje ho tried it. But, kati kwe, if pasaje ho tried it, go vi kwati na kwa, go and serve the Lord. Pastor, I am busy. Sengo mani shedu yange. I read the je. I just enjoy vashapa. I do occupy, do you know? You see these things, eh? You need, to, you, you need to be calculative. And you know, who goes to build a house without counting the cost? So when let me first do that. When my schedule becomes clearer, I will start, I will start thinking about starting an MC and discipling some people. Because I want to start so that I want to start when I can give them my time. Be, so that such that I'm not doing it half half. So I want to first get time. Uh, let me then I then I uh, uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <coughs> hey, financial year is ending. Yeah, the financial year is ending. Let, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit busy. You know the reports. The reports are already here. Pastor, it's because you don't you don't you don't know about the yeah, I know got you. Huh? Pastor, you don't know about these reports. Pastor, Pastor, people can actually be busy. Yeah, people can actually be busy. So actually, as you understand, if you're not busy because of what, because actually, and actually because, <laughs> actually, Actually, because actually, actually, because. Go actually because so. Praise the Lord. actually, actually, because. Listen, listen. If the devil knows that the way to keep you from serving God is to keep you busy, you will always be busy. Your entire life, you will be too busy to serve the Lord. And guess what? The devil can do that. Just, ju just, just introducing another report every week. So you, you think that I'll serve the Lord after I finish this report? No. The, 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 the devil, the, in fact, do, do you know that the devil can even orchestrate a promotion? So that, just for the purpose of you becoming busier. So that you never serve the Lord. So 
if your reason is I am too busy to serve the Lord, if, listen, even if I were, even, as in you don't have to be very sharp, even, even if I were the devil, I would just simply make you busier. So you can't make a disciple, you can't, you can't have an, you can't hold an MC because you are too busy. I will just keep you busy. So being busy is not a reason. Glory to God. Being busy. The people that are serving God, eh, they are not serving God because they are idle. Glory to God. No, it's not because they are idle. Do you know how busy I am? Actually, because you don't know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah? You, you, you don't know. Yeah, you, 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 you know, people, people think that uh, I don't understand about being busy because me, I'm a pastor and the pastors, you know, pastor, you know, just, you know, pastor just waking up on Sunday. I said, Sunday, Sabazuka, Sanga, Satu, Nebamuacha, Inaja, then Inaja, and Nabuli, I call now, Gana, for now you get up for about two hours. Nadayeka, Paka next Sunday, Kwekamba via Pasta Viangue, Katuamukaman in the Biza Tategira, Chovola Mulekab, Tatek Tabitaman, we are. We are not very busy. Really? Really? Hallelujah. So, God who says, Give me back, give me first, John, uh, uh, first Corinthians 5 15, 58. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, unmovable. Always, always. The word always means all the time. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. You mean this, this, this God who is telling you to always abound in his work doesn't know that you're busy? Doesn't know that you have a job? Doesn't know that you have a family, you have children? Doesn't know? And yet he insists that you should always abound? Always. He doesn't say, he doesn't say and, until you get a job. Until you want to. Hey, Always. He says, always abounding. In the work of the Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> you are not too busy to serve God. You are not. Absolutely not. I know what I'm talking about. I've, I've, I've served God. I've served God before when I have a, when, when I have a full-time job. A, an extreme, an extremely busy job. You don't, you can't imagine. Extremely busy. Seven to seven p.m. every day, and I was still, I was, and I was still a pastor in two, in two ministries. Yeah. You remember? Did I ever, did I ever give, a, did I ever give reason that I'm too busy? What? Did, was, was there a week where we didn't have Bible study? Because I was too busy. Was there a Sunday that I didn't go to church or didn't do? Well, did anyone ever say that I, I, they couldn't reach me because I was too busy? I couldn't pray for them because they are too busy. I couldn't attend this meeting because I was too busy. And trust me, I was busier than most people can, think, can imagine. Just by that job alone. So I know what it means to be busy and you serve the Lord. Always abounding. Come on, don't, don't give the devil strategy. Hallelujah. Don't, don't give the devil. The, the moment you start, the, the, the moment you let him know that, Kati, you know, Mufule Muko busy. As in, he will make you busy all your life. Osigari, 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 Mukua reasons and excuses. Because I'm, you know, what, you know. And you, what, what? Glory to God. But the scriptures insist, <coughs> be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Glory to God. Yeah, so so I, do, I do appreciate that work. I'm not saying compromise your work to, 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 to do ministry. I'm not saying that to do what. But I'm telling you if, you, if your heart is into serving God and you decide that I'm going to serve God, it doesn't matter what kind of schedule that you have. The same answer, the same answer that Angel Gabriel gave Mary is the same answer I will give you. 
that the spirit of God will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. When the power of the Most High overshadows you, trust me, you'll do your work perfectly well and you'll do ministry perfectly well. When the power of the Most High overshadows you, what other people do in eight hours, you'll find a way of doing it in two hours. I'm telling you, the reason you're struggling is because you're on your own. Let God be in that equation. Let God know that when the work overwhelms you, ministry will be compromised. He will make sure your work is moving smoothly so that ministry is not called. Come on, let God be in your picture. Let God be in the picture. Yeah. Let God be in the picture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the question, the, the question is, ladies, will you, will you make up your mind to serve the Lord? Will you just will you will you make up your mind to serve the Lord? Will will you not allow that job that He has given you stand in the way of serving Him? Will you not allow? Well, you've cried for you've cried for Mukama Mukama. I need a spouse. I need a what? Eh? I need a spouse. I need a spouse. Mukama. Mulete 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 mulete. Hallelujah. Every Sarah ne fuka mukoleji. Mulete 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 Loka kakati then mukama akubipinga ko bipinza banga muleta ko bwati katono bwati ha katono bwati the the next thing we know is that eh ofuse bize kwe gamba on sunday mukama nchata iza nchata iza muntu sima ne omutaiza ku sunday wo mutwala out mbotaiza Motaiza kusande umugenda kubichi. So tocha ja, tocha ja, you no longer coming to church bukango ori mukutaiza. Look at why what do you mean you motaiza chama gero? Mukutaiza chama gero change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So will you decide today that Lord, even when I get that spouse, I will not let I will not let that relationship stand between me and serving between serving you. I need a promotion. I need a promotion. But Lord, don't let that, that, that don't let that promotion make you too busy to serve the Lord. I don't lose the promotion says when I'm busy. Zikurete ulete zimalala. Glory to God. As no, it's not you. No, you're no longer busy. You are just you. You are just. You kwegamba. Stand. Kwegungo vimba vimbi. Hallelujah. You know, you start feeling that now you're too important. Hallelujah. Yeah, you, you're too important. Tirupati, tirupati. The office tint is a blue tint is a green. I'm not sick of Kagu away, Kati. Kati, no, we don't you two say you. The government, the pastor, who could be a simu, or you quite a time in the busy one. I don't know. So we have meetings. They should get make appointments. She make appointments. I'm quite busy. No, the song, no, the song, no time called Dugaya. Actually, same from three and busy. How can she know? Another time, another time. I'll talk to him another time, another time. I seem to be busy. I'm making appointment. Gwe gayo luzungu. Gwe vera wango gayo luzungu. Aleluya. Amala la gavude wa amala. Waliyo no nyomuri ugo. Pasta yali asabe sara. Ngo lungo. Esimu ujikwata no yogela luganda. Kati o gayo luzungu alinga tamanyi luganda. No actually. Glory to God. Hey. Waliyo tambula. Waliyo tambula no jakuti rupati. Ngo kuta na mfudu na otpaka wotu ukawano. Nekati ofunye motoka. Ofunye motoka. The traffic jam is too much. The traffic jam is too what? It is too much to come to you. Tuma tukawo. Tukwe gama utuke yonzi. By the time I drive there, I reach when I'm exhausted. I don't say okay, so. And then I reach and so. Make up nga. I say. Well. My makeup. Nenge moto katen na jau. 
ngoka ngo ngoka digido joka chaka labo o, o very ngoka digida kuva mu chibuga no kadigida paka wano kati ofunye motoka mujam if jam jam go ahead jam go so so move gamu ami akwata go weka ladies and gentlemen make a decision to serve god make a decision to serve god Make a decision to serve God. Don't, 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 don't let the blessing. And listen, and let me tell you, I am going to pray for you. Listen, and I, I thank God because God always hears me. He always hears me. I am going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you that you get jobs, that you get promotions, that you get money, that you get spouses, that you get But don't make that the reason for not serving God. God even after giving you all those things, he insists that do not be un be unmovable, always abounding in the work of God. Always Nandi tandi say MC, I would have started an MC. Never, never want to never never job. I never job. Go, but just could do Gaza capital yanki. But just, but very too many wajja ba vude. We gama na na tura mo untebe yo. Na jigazi ira mo waati. Na wanga chi. We gamba. Nebi kupote ba vanga sibioze. Chi. Gama zeko gama MC. Nandi tandi say na MC neda. Kanjira ngenda, kanjira, kanjira, kanjira ngenda. Let me attend, attend the air, air, musumba. Katigwe air musumba. Jogen attend odu Gaza. Now we become ponole kanga sibi ose. Ate katito ya galibio abia babinuere mu. You are sorry. Sorry to God. I would have started an MC. Na ya wantu, ateba negairi ze, atevi chi, watu wari. Rui ba jare nzo, wabada moku jare tisigenda. I'm going to tell them we are closing. I'm going to tell them we are closing. Baja batia, we agree to start at six. Can you imagine it is now quarter past six? It is quarter past six. Teba naja, teba naja. Ate nkuba masimu, nkuba masimu, masimu teba naja. Relax. That is why. That is why you are you are their disciple. It is. It is now. That is your measure of success. Well, if they are still like that, you are still failing. You still have work to do. You're supposed to disciple them and overtake them. Line. Glory to God. Yeah. Overtake them. Line. Yeah. It will take time, it will take diligence, it will take discipline, or jakuni gamuko, it will have some you there will be some emotions. Well, Goloza Faba Sumbolus Tetuniga. Moza Oloza Temutuniza Kofe. Mwamuza Temutuniza. I tell you. Are you sure? Hey. <laughs> yeah. People do people do people do things and you are there. Oluse byo kunyiga twa bivana kwene tutanika kuseka busesa. Yeah, oluse. No, I'm telling you, I, I'm a pastor. But being a pastor, I am also a husband and a father. Glory to God. But I don't let I don't let that stand in the way of ministry. Chovola basija sija ko sim. Sija ko sim. That is why anyone can call me and my phone will be on even even at 2 a.m. in the night. Glory to God. Name Bandiao, Sazi Musavu Zachio. Nesim of Gatu, two, 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 Okusomaka message, Kibam, Barimukumpe, is a message, message. Go to Changa Manti Pasta. Any can name a castle man, I ain't no Kuban Purida. Glory to God. Any one can castle men or an Aurian Aman and take her serious. Mu, eh, Pasta, Sawa Mekano Zachio. Mu Pasta, eh. We are, we are here playing cards. Tuzanya mata tu. But it feels very bad losing. Kati. 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 I'm telling you, I have nothing now. Kati ajimpeleza chiro in the middle of the night. It feels very bad. Nateka ubu emoji obu kava. 
Because Bamukubi ya kazanyo Bamukubi ya kazanyo kama tatu Katina nga kati azini Nsabe Nsabe Nkawuli nkwe Mukubi ya simu mkwe Mwe condolence Musasi Mwe True story in Gina no message. I have it. I can show it to you with the time it came. <laughs> hey, hey, Katia Wonga meant ya as in Indica. Yes, since Indica Jawan, Indica Zawampa, and Diga Nyo, Tony and Bivu Demu, and I said, What are No, no, man, you know, Mulimo go caller, praise the Lord. Do you know Mulimo go caller, Chi? Ogokola, ngatan koko igiri zanjo why? Pastor wazima sawa zatiro, unless it is an emergency. Tumu kujiji, kuwa na ya na ya yeba kabana ya na ya umola. Mwabamulo za pastor ye, amena yogera na mama lai echira amena mwabama lai kanga bani mukonyima raba kaza tete wogera ni mwabama lai ka. Masko devra dis katala ba. Nenda wana pastor na yeba ka, muleke yeba ke, unless it's an emergency. Onyigide koe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you because if you begin this journey of discipleship, eh, they are going to do, they are, people are going to do unrealistic and unreasonable things to you. You're going to invite, you're going to invite them to your house and then, and then they will start, they will start judging and, and saying, Hey, never know. Ati, you know, aye. Zino, zino, kati ni rachi bate kamuza bolu. Zino, echi senge nechipe, echi senge nechipe, echi agurini. Kati no te kamburu, kati munu, munu munu mira muka yero. Senga ya te kamuka yero. No, kama ne, we've come for discipleship. Kati, kati ni zange muziveko. I mean, when I'm saying these things, eh. Uh, they, they come off as funny, but I'm trying to tell you that. Be serious. When you go to somebody's house, you've gone for MC. To Katanese Ziveko. Olu siba kuchina ko. Olu siba kuchina ko. Vudeli enkube. Tonye. Tonye. Engatozo nazi jude. And then you come. When you, when you open the door, the, the owner is being polite. Oh, no. I don't think you should remove. Now we no go. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. They're just, they're just being polite. Now, now, no, 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 no. You very well know your shoes are dirty. They are dirty. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I don't Is it, is it really? Is it really necessary? Oh, no, 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 no. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. How many of you are saying I'm going to serve the Lord? I will give I will give no excuse. I will give no reason. I am not too busy to serve God. I am not too occupied to serve God. I am not too important. But I'm now a CEO, Nyambala Makoti, Nyambala Masuti. But I have, I have, I have a corner office in a, in a blue-tinted window. What? But I took a office young and called a lift. Hallelujah. You, you imagine a bit of a chamula band. Or a cook in Gramma office yard in your lift. Katia Muria Uriranga in Munion, Yimbara, Bulikumacha Banga in Yenyon, Yagenda office. Katia Urira Kavino Tasoa Kuere Zamukama. Come. Kaka uru unori nyenyo ni mubanga toga ni reyo. Kaka na kaka na kaka na kaka na ureze mukama. Kaka na calm down and serve the Lord. Calm down and serve the Lord. You are not too important to serve the Lord. You are not too rich to serve the Lord. Neither are you too poor to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Make the decision to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Glory to God. <coughs> Come on, just, just, I want you to just have a minute with the Lord. A personal, a personal moment with the Lord. Just to tell him that, Lord, I choose to serve you. 
I choose to serve you. I hear your voice. I know what you want me to do. And I'm going to do it. I'm not going to give reason. I'm not going to give excuses. I will serve the Lord. I will serve you, Lord. Speak to the Lord. Come on, go ahead and speak to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Makasata lavrade baka. Rapata lavredo satala mandele prakasa. Libo ze katala mandele vrede satala pakaribo. Rapata labade vrada ze talamante kalabaso telebre katala baba. Sike levredo se telemanta la bakata la baba basse tele baba. Rete levrados katala mantele brado se televre se televre se televre. Master, we choose to serve you. We choose to serve you. I make a personal decision, Lord, that I will serve you. I will follow you. I will do what you tell me to do. I will not give reason. I will not give excuse, Lord. I will not pretend to be too busy for you. I will not pretend to be too important, Lord. I will not pretend to, I will not, Lord, I will not allow pride to start between me and your work, Lord. I will do whatever you send me to do, Lord. I will go wherever you send me to go. I will do anything that you tell me to do, Lord. I will get up and obey you promptly. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I will obey promptly, Lord. I will move when you tell me to move. I will stop when you tell me to stop, Lord. I will obey your voice, Lord. I will heed your leading, Lord. I will lead. I will heed your leading in every situation, Lord. Everywhere you tell me to go, I will go. Whatever you tell me to do, I will do. I make this decision, Lord. I I make this choice, Lord, that I will serve you. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. We shall serve the Lord. We make that decision. We make that deliberate choice to follow the Lord and serve Him and obey Him all the days of our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you we bless you thank you for the opportunity to serve you thank you for the opportunity to work for you to work in your vineyard we bless you and we, we make the deliberate choice Lord, that we shall serve you all the days of our lives we shall not give excuses we shall not give reason we shall always abound, always abound, always abound in the work of the Lord. Always, always enthusiastically doing your work, Lord. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.